every reality you see in the old testament we see it's every shadow you see in the old testament we see its substance in the new i explained to you the other time now listen carefully don't be distracted israel was in captivity in egypt for 430 years moses came as a deliverer to set them free he performed nine miracles nothing happened on the tenth miracle which was the miracle that's passed over when blood was shed the firstborn of an animal was killed the blood was applied on the doorpost god says when i see the blood i'll pass over after that miracle moses was allowed by pharaoh to take israel out and then israel came out of captivity on their way going pharaoh sent a whole troop a power came from egypt to attack them moses stretched forth his hands he divided the sea and they walked through on dry ground uh, pharaoh and his team were coming over and the seas covered up and that day the power of pharaoh was completely broken over israel god said to them the egyptians you see today you will not see them again israel went through the wilderness as they were being prepared for the um promised land they got to the promised land by their own choices they entered into another captivity which was the captivity of babylon this one was not by birth it was not by default it was by their choices are you following this thing at all now it's the same picture the problem israel had uh, if you read first corinthians 10 from the verse 1 to 10 you see that israel had wrong choices they fell into last problems they fell into murmuring and all that all those things you see israel do the church is doing now now we as men were in bondage to sin just like israel many years there was no savior god appointed a savior that savior was moses god appointed as a savior that savior is jesus jesus you know moses performed many miracles it was one miracle that brought them out jesus performed many miracles it was only one miracle that saved man the shedding of his blood so the lamb of god that was killed was a picture of jesus christ who is the lamb of god that would take away the sin of the world so the blood was applied on the doorpost when the angel of death came and saw the blood he passed over the blood of jesus is applied upon our hearts by faith when death sees us it passes over so we have passed from death to life because of our faith in jesus by that miracle they were set free from the judgment of sin just like the blood of jesus has set us free from the judgment of sin so they were freed from judgment of sin but they were still under the power of egypt so pharaoh sent a troop that was the power of egypt coming after them and and moses stretched forth his hands and the sea was divided he made a way out of escape from pharaoh's power jesus stretched his hands on the cross and guess what the moment his hands were stretched remember something happened in the temple the temple veil which covered men from entering was torn into two from top to bottom a way was made we call that a new and living way israel crossed through now we have crossed through through god's presence and when they crossed the power of egypt was also coming through and the seas covered them and that day all pharaoh and his generation died that day egypt's power over israel was completely broken in the cross of jesus sin's power was completely broken so when he gave the announcement the egyptians you see today you will see no more sin's power sin's dominion which you saw today you will see no more that is what the bible says that if you are in christ jesus you are set free from free from sin and sin shall have no dominion over your life why did god take israel through the wilderness because from um, egypt to the promised land was only 11 days journey you can, you can go and read your bible it was only an 11 days journey why did god take them through the wilderness he took them through the wilderness according to deuteronomy 8 the verse 1 to 5 to discipline them chastise them to teach them what it means to be humble to prepare them for the promised land so that was how israel was supposed to grow the reason why you got born again and god did not just snatch you into heaven was because he has to take you through the wilderness period so you can mature and be prepared for eternity so all the life problems you're going through all the the people the, the difficult people you have in your life all these systems that you're going through are a wilderness experience god is giving you as a platform to be disciplined as a christian so you can be prepared for eternity are you seeing this thing at all so you remember when israel entered the promised land now by their own choices they entered into a new captivity called what babylon if a believer after being saved is not careful about 
his discipline he will make wrong choices that may take him back into captivity this time it is not by default it will be by choice so a believer's wrong choices can land him back into bondage oh yes i've seen christians who are struggling badly with serious sin issues not because god did not set them free but because of their wrong choices they chose to watch things god did not subscribe for them and by their choice they enter into bondage and how did israel come out they call on god how do you come out you call on jesus to help you through the power of the holy spirit so do you remember when israel entered into the promised land god said to them that the inhabitants of that land are not just the canaanites they are jebusites they are hittites amorites all these people are there so god warned israel to be careful about mingling with them if you read numbers chapter 33 the verse 55 i'm sure it's there numbers 33 the verse 55 look look at god's warning to them he says but if you will not drive out the inhabitants now remember remember hey, this is good this is good in the setting free of israel from egypt it was god's work in the driving out of the inhabitants in that land it was their responsibility that's what the bible says mortify the deeds of the body that's your job flee that's your job avoid that's your job kill that's your job so he says but if you will not drive so this is a choice if you will not drive the inhabitants of the land from before you then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain there are things there are wrong thoughts there are wrong foundations there are some videos if you let them remain as a christian in your life he says when you let them reign when you let them remain of them he says they shall be what bricks in your eyes and tongues in your sides and they shall vex you in the land where thou will dwell in so that was god's warning he said in the land you are entering in does not mean that because you have entered that land you are completely free there are enemies in the land they may seem to be friends israel did not obey they got married to these foreign nations and what happened was that now they began to worship their gods they began to offer human sacrifices to these gods and guess what it brought israel into bondage it's the same with the church if we don't by choice decide to put disciplines in our way to walk purified lives i am telling you you'll be ruined by this world as far as god is concerned the christian has three enemies the first enemy unfortunately is within you it's called the flesh the second enemy is called the world the third enemy is called the devil he calls him your adversary so god has given us a responsibility when it comes to the flesh he says mortify it he says make no provision for it when it comes to the world he says do not love it when it comes to the devil he says resist him so god has given us solutions on how to handle it if a christian does not obey god that christian will find himself dominated by the last of the eyes the last of the flesh and the pride of life we said what is the reason for moral purity last week we began to look at it we said the first reason for moral purity number one is impurity and uncleanness grieves the lord the reason why god wants us to walk in purity as christians and like we've always been saying in our studies and lecture we said purity is mainly mainly in the area of what sexuality in as much as the christian has been cleansed by jesus christ the christian can still defile himself and this time that defilement is not a defilement of his spirit but it can be a defilement of his soul how do i know these things i'm sharing with you scripture tells us in james chapter 1 the verse 21 the bible says one for lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls so remember when you get born again it is not your soul that got born again it was not your body that got born again it was your spirit man that got born again so when you get born again your spirit man is saved your soul is not instantly saved because your soul has got to do with the makeup of your mind your will and your emotion your mind is still unrenewed that's like all the battles you had is still existing when you get born again 